What's up everybody? It's Jas and back here with another update on what's going on with my psoriasis. So I know I've been really really quiet and um, the uploads of my video are going to be kind of weird because some videos I have got a lot of hair, some videos I've got no hair and that's because for the past five weeks I've been in a bit of a creative rut and the reason why I've been in this creative rut is because <sighs> the psoriasis really started flaring up and when it started flaring up a lot I know I said I was going to document things I know I said I was going to be you know filming loads and saying the whole process as everything goes on but you know what this is just another like uh, key thing for people to realize in that psoriasis it affects you so much mentally that I, I, I physically I physically just couldn't couldn't do it. I couldn't bring myself to start filming I had no motivation whatsoever to film anything so now I'm getting back on it but it means that like everything is going to be a bit muddled because what I did was I filmed a load of things but like little clips here and there so there's no talking to it it's just like you know just some visuals and so now I'm going to need to film clips of me talking whilst the video is going on if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense but hopefully not I mean anyway so how it's working or what I've decided to do was I wanted to prove how effective biologics are. So the only way I could think of like proving this is by taking the biologics and completely stopping everything else. No more like topical treatments, no steroids, no other creams, no nothing. The only thing I'm going to be using is coconut oil to just like, you know, moisturize my skin. Nothing else. No more dermal 600 baths, nothing like that just letting the biologics do its thing and you know what um there was points where i started to break and think oh god i need to get back on the on the what's it called on the steroids and things like that because when i took my first injection my psoriasis flared up like crazy and when i mean it flared up like crazy i'm talking i went to bed i had the injection uh like a couple of days later i went to bed i woke up and my whole face my entire face was covered in psoriasis it just like was so itchy was so painful it was really really horrible and I thought you know what this isn't working so I went to the doctors went to the doctors and they said yep this isn't right um, it's probably that because I have been on biologics before and I came off it and I've come back on it again my body has built some like you know some antibodies to it it's built some immunity uh, towards the biologic so they gave me a double dose now with Stellara, what happens is, is you take, um, for me it's 45 milligrams, take 45 milligrams of it uh, every 12 weeks. Instead what they decided to do with me is sort of change it up to a kind of like a, like a loading dose. So I took um, 45 milligrams and then four weeks later do another one and then four weeks later do another one. So I think I've got another injection due in two or three weeks. Yeah, something like that. So it's been, it's, been, it's been about six weeks since I've been on the biologics. And only this week have I seen some improvement. Now, the improvement has been dramatic. I'm talking, it's like night and day. I wake up and every morning it's getting less and less and less to the point where now, let me just show you. Look at that. Look at that. that that's crazy. Look at this. Look at this. Now, for those of you who have followed my videos, you've seen what my body was like. You saw how red and raw and scaly it was. That is looking incredible. Um, so, you know, it's really, really making an improvement now. And I'm going to carry on not using any, bio any like creams or anything like that. However, however, that's a lie. Sorry, that is a massive lie. I am using steroids. But I only started using steroids as of yesterday, but mainly for my feet. And the reason why I'm doing it for my feet is because I'm getting really broke now. I'm not, I don't have a lot of money. I haven't worked for a long time. Um, in case some of you have noticed, this is a new background. And the reason why it's a new background is because I've moved out of my grandmother's house. I now have my own place. I've got my own independence with uh, Serena, me and her. We've, you know, we decided to make the leap. We've got our own house. And since I moved into this new house as well, my, my psoriasis has cleared up as well because I've, I've taken stress away from my head there's, there's no more drama no more nothing and it's just it's just me and her and we're just doing our thing and it's great but it's a lot of bills so, and I'm not working so it's put us in a very very tough spot in that sense so it has added a little bit of stress on but the stress is more of a financial stress which I try not to get too stressed about 
And in order for me to work, the main thing that was stopping me from working was the fact that A, I couldn't wear clothes very much, but now my psoriasis has calmed down enough that I can wear clothes, and B, my feet. My feet were so bad that I just couldn't walk anywhere. So I wanna get my feet better. The moment I can get my feet better is the moment I can get back to work, the moment I can start earning money, and the moment that my girlfriend can now take a break, because she's been working six days a week, she pays for everything, you know, she is my, she brings home all that bread, she brings home the bacon, you know, she's my sugar mama right now, and um, she deserves a break, so I need to stop working so that she can now relax, and yeah, things can start moving. But, everything is going well so far, in fact, let's do a little walk around my body, and uh, see what's going on, shall we? Let's get to that. Okay, so right off the bat, let's look at my torso. Oh, I'm dressing for the camera, hello. So yeah, there we go. Can you see that, you know, to the untrained eye for people who haven't got psoriasis, this still looks very bad, but for me, this is looking really good, considering I'm not doing any steroids, nothing like that. If we look at my back, we're seeing some improvements. Look at my arms. We've got a lot more improvements there as well. And if we look at my head, if you remember my psoriasis on my scalp was really bad. Sorry, I'm looking at the LCD screen. I shouldn't be, I should be looking at you guys, but I'm gonna look there for now so I can see what I'm recording. So yeah, my face has cleared up massively, like massively cleared up. I've still got some on my beard and things like that, but that's all right. Uh, and my scalp, you know, it's cleared up a lot. I still have like a big patch here, but nothing in comparison to like before when literally there wasn't a single spot of clear skin or normal skin on my entire head. My well, entire head, entire scalp. In fact, I'll see if I can upload a picture now here. If you look at this picture, actually, actually, do you know what? I think I've got a picture of what my scalp looked like, so I'll upload that now. And if you can see here, my entire scalp is covered. If you see, everything is completely white. There's just there's just no normal skin. And we'll bring it back to here. Okay, now look at that. See? Incredible improvement. Absolutely incredible. So it's working, it's working. Anyway, so this is a short video. Um, didn't want to keep it too long. Just wanted to give you guys, you know, a little update on what's going on with me, how things are working. The Stellara is working. I know I'm getting like, again, still getting hundreds of messages every day from people um, worried and asking how I am, if there's anything they can do. Um, thank you again for all the love and support that everyone's given me. It's been amazing. Um, I'm feeling much happier at the moment, real happy. Uh, I'm gonna start working on my CV, gonna start applying for jobs soon. I reckon in about one month I should be ready to start working again and get out there back into the world doing things again being active which is great but for now that's it I will check back in with you a lot in a week I'm gonna try and get back into filming again I've been in a massive creative rut um, if you're watching this I don't know when I'm gonna upload this video it might be a week from now it might be two weeks it might be three weeks from now actually I, I, I don't know the thing is um, I've got a load of videos that I, I need to upload so the timelines are gonna be a bit messed up. They're gonna be really messed up. Um, that's my fault, no one else blame but me. So, yeah. Just so that you know, if you case you're following me on Instagram, or anything like that, by the way, if you're following me on Instagram, if you aren't, my Instagram is jasim1. Uh, follow me, message me. You can see what my improvements are on there. So yeah, by the time that this video might go up, I might be completely clear of psoriasis. Uh, I might have hair grown back and all that kind of stuff. I might be working. This could be five or six weeks from now. Um, so just follow me in that to get the sort of real-time update on what's going on with me. Um, and yeah, that, that, that's basically it. So I guess we'll end the video now. I hope all of you stay strong. Um, keep doing what you're doing and you know things will get better. I am proof of that. Things do get better. Um, for how long? it will be better for, I don't know, you know, the psoriasis can always come back, I always have to be well aware of that, but that's okay, I'll take every sort of moment as I can, every day that as, as I can, and yeah, just, just go with it. But anyway, it's nice catching up with you guys, love you all, peace!